What's up, race fans? Are you really sitting at work right now watching me talk about right front stubs? You really have read nine pages, 10,000 views of right front stub soap opera. Apparently you have, because you're here listening to me now. Uh, my name is Mike Higley, one half of Mike and White, along with Rodney White for In the Pits. Kind of wanted to take a look at what's going on. What is this all about? We talk about it. Everybody's got an opinion. If you've got a sister's uncle's cousin, they got an opinion on what we should be doing on this right front stub. But we wanted to actually go look at one. Tom Charles, as you know, has been very vocal on the forum boards about the right front stub and also just happens to have an illegal one or what's being considered or debated as an illegal one. So we went out to Eagle Racing Team, the Eagle Racing Shop. Tom was kind enough to allow us to sit in and videotape him repairing his stub or fixing his stub or putting it back to what we're considering or calling GM spec. Basically matching a left front stub to a right front stub. For right now, we don't know what the rules are going to be. We don't know what's going to come out. But we wanted to shed a little bit of light on what it's going to take to fix these cars if that's what it comes to. Hope you enjoy. This is just a short, short snippet tonight. Uh, it's very, very late or early. And I just wanted to get something up. Look for more coming this weekend along with a full length video. Uh, thanks again to Tom and his team. Rodney, thanks for your help in the pits. Have a great night, guys. P.S. Go back to work. The reason why this has become an issue is because by moving this frame, by bringing it up just a little bit, it allows more clearance on the track. And what we're doing is we're running softer front ends, especially in the right front spring. And by doing that, the car rolls over and it, it, it aids, you know, in the, in the roll centers. It allows the car to get over farther, which puts the bar angle in the, in the fore link in the left rear. That's what gets the drive up under the car. Well, the bigger motors we're running nowadays, uh, the shocks that everybody's running, they want to just you know, jump that car up and nose it in. Plus, plus being over on the nose allows the car to really pinch in and, and turn. So you, you can keep a lot of drive in the car, you can still get it to turn, you can stay in the gas, it's fast. But you gotta have frame clearance. If this frame's in the stock location, it's a lot closer to the track. And what happens is this frame starts hammering the track you got to run stiffer springs. You don't get that drive. You can't get that motor and the shocks and everything to make this thing happen. Oh, baby, baby, how I lost my mind. Time is quite the killer when you're left behind. Yeah, back held you till the engine slept. At home, your pillow cool. See, you see how easy that is right there? A simple cut and flex down. And so this is a sliver piece that you've cut. I'm just going to put, put this little filler in there. Show that, that, show that to me real quick. It's just a little sliver. That's all, I mean, that's all it took. Now I want to make sure we notice too, safety glasses. Mask. It's a must. Don't kid yourself. This stuff will kill you. I work with this stuff for a living, I know. They come. 